Okay, here's a problem where we're going to buy and store some wine. Um, so a company wants to do it. Maybe it's a, a restaurant or some uh, something like that who wants to have some wine on stock. Um, it costs money to ship the wine to them, but it also costs them to store it. Now what they could do is they could get one shipment at the beginning of the year, but then they're paying a whole lot in storage for wine that's going to sit there for most of the year. So what they want to do is they want to break that up into different shipments. So they're going to do a few shipments each year uh, and then not have to pay for wine for the whole time. Okay, So uh, here we go. They want to sell 480 cases over the course of the year, at a, and we assume at a steady rate. In reality, there may be some busy seasons compared to others, but we'll assume it's roughly a steady rate. They want to place several orders of the same size spread out throughout the year. The delivery cost is $100, and the storage costs are $3 per year for one case of wine. All right, so let's see. We want to determine the order quantity that minimizes the cost. So we're going to need a few variables here. Let's use R to stand for the number of orders each year. And we'll let X stand for the number in each order. So the number of cases in each order. Well, what's our first formula? Well, we know that if we take however many orders they have multiplied by the number of cases in an order, well, that's got to add, multiply out to be our 480. So one of our formulas is going to be R times X. That has to be 480. And we're going to, uh, let's rearrange this. Let's divide both sides by R. So we'll have x equals 480 divided by r. And this will come in handy later when we need to do a substitution. So we want to minimize the cost. We want to keep this as cheap as possible. So we need our cost equation. Okay. Well, we know each shipment is $100. And we know we're going to make r number of shipments. So we're going to have to spend $100 for each shipment. Okay. okay, then we know that we're going to have to store it. Okay, storage is $3 per year for one case. Okay. So it's $3 a year for a case. Now, the problem is sometimes the case is going to be there for the whole length of time. Sometimes the case won't be there that long. You'll sell it right away. So if we have a linear, we figure that a case is going to be in their cooler about half the time on average. Some will be longer, some will be shorter. So on average, we're going to take this x, number in each order, and divide it by 2. So each case will be there about half the time. So for example, if there were 50 cases, on average each case would be there for about 25 uh, there'd be about 25 cases at any given time on the average. All right, so if we want to minimize this, we need the derivative. Unfortunately, we have three variables. Well, that's why we did this substitution here. Okay, so we're going to take this x and put it in place of this x. So that gives our c equals 100r plus, all right, if we put all this in for x, we're going to have 3 times 480 over r, and then also over 2. So 480 over 2r. Okay. Well, 480 over 2 is 240. 240 times 3 is 720. So we're now down to our cost being 100r plus 720 over r. Now, let me come over here to the side. It's not part of the formula, but let's remember that 720 over r can be written as 720 r to the power negative 1 because we want that exponent there so we can use the power rule. All right, so to minimize the cost, we need the critical points. So we need to find the derivative and then set it equal to 0. So 
the derivative is the 100 r is going to be nice. That's just going to be 100. It's a linear term. The r goes away. And now if we think of 720 over r as 720 r to the minus 1, we know we're going to bring that negative 1 to the front. So we're going to have minus 720. And we're going to subtract 1, r to the minus 2. And then using the same idea here, we're going to have the derivative is 100 minus 720 over r squared. Okay, we're going to set that equal to 0. 100 minus 720 over r squared. Let's move the negative term to the other side to make it positive. So we're going to have 720 over r squared equals 100. Let's multiply both sides by r squared to get rid of the fraction. We'll move back up here. So we'll have the r squareds will cancel there. So we'll just have 720. And then we'll have 100 times the r squared. Okay. Divide by 100. So r squared equals 7.2. And then now take the square root of both sides. So we get plus or minus. Again, the minus doesn't matter. So the square root of 7.2 is about 2.7. So what this tells us then is to minimize our cost, we need to place 2.7 orders every year. Well, it doesn't make sense to place 2.7 of an order, so we probably want to round that off to the nearest number. So we'll make three orders throughout the year, and then in each order, 480 over 3 would be yeah, 160. I thought it was 160, but that just didn't sound right all of a sudden. So, in order to minimize their cost, they're going to place three orders every year, and in each order they're going to request 160 cases.